Kia ora koutou. We all approach work and life with some basic assumptions and ways of viewing things. We see the world through our own eyes and look at things knowing what we do and projecting our perspective out into the world. For a lot of creative people, this causes huge problems. We see the imperfections in our own work and think it's not good enough without considering how it might appear to someone who doesn't have the same creative skills as us. Or we have so much passion for what we're doing that we simply assume that other people will also see the value in the end result. For every single one of us, our relationship with our creative work is complex, so our thoughts and feelings can cloud our judgment. Getting pricing right requires ruthless self-awareness and honesty, and a balancing of our own perspective against the perspectives of our future customers. The kicker is that we only ever start out with our half of that equation. So, here's another way of thinking about this. Out in the world is a real person with a real need. Let's call them a customer. They are looking for a solution to that need, and you want it to be your item. The customer's need causes them a certain amount of pain, which sets the price that they are willing to pay for a solution. If this price is larger than the cost of making the solution, and this customer buys it, then you make some money. Yeah, you make some money. Yeah, you make some money. All right. What often happens though, is that we as creative people only consider the value of our items to us. We give a small price based on cost and don't accurately describe how it is a solution for the customer. So when this customer comes along looking for something like this, they only find that and they don't buy it. Then we sit there thinking whatever terrible things we end up thinking about and don't ever consider learning more about what the customer is actually looking for. Writing descriptions and taking excellent photos is all about showcasing the solution to your prospective customers. When you're starting out or you're selling your first few items, your number one objective should be trying to figure out who your customer typically will be. What are their needs and their typical pain points? That way you can pitch your item as the perfect solution at the right price for them. The blog post linked below talks a little bit more about this, and I'm totally open to any questions or conversation in the comments section linked below. Remember, you are not competing with each other. We are all working together to try and capture some of the billions of dollars that are spent in big box shops every single year. Have a great week. Mā te wā.